the royal family and world leaders are mourning Queen Elizabeth II, Britain's longest reigning monarch, who died Thursday at Balmoral Castle at 96. The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon, Buckingham Palace announced via social media. The King and the Queen consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Her eldest son and heir, King Charles III, 73, immediately became king upon her death. The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. Obituary, Queen Elizabeth II dies at 96, Prince Charles takes the throne as king during this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held, he added. Reactions to news of Elizabeth's death were swift and plentiful, across countries, news channels and social media platforms. More, who succeeds Queen Elizabeth II? More questions answer the death of Her Majesty the Queen is a huge shock to the nation and the world, Truss said Thursday in a news conference outside of No. 10 Downing Street Queen Elizabeth II was the rock on which modern Britain was built, she added. Britain is a great country because of her. On Tuesday, the Queen presided over the ceremonial handover of power to the new Prime Minister from Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Truss highlighted how Queen Elizabeth remained determined to carry out her duties until her final days. Royal news right in your inbox. Subscribe to the Keep Calm and Carry On newsletter from USA Today. In the U.S., President Joe Biden mourned the Queen in a lengthy statement highlighting her many accomplishments and relationships with American leaders throughout history. In a world of constant change, she was a steadying presence and a source of comfort and pride for generations of Britons, in an enduring admiration for Queen Elizabeth II united people across the Commonwealth. The seven decades of her history making reign bore witness to an age of unprecedented human advancement and the forward march of human dignity. Biden added, in the years ahead, we look forward to continuing a close friendship with the king and the queen consort. Today, the thoughts and prayers of people all across the United States are with the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in their grief. We send our deepest condolences to the royal family, who are not only mourning their queen, but their dear mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother.